Hi, this is the final presentation for 1563 Computational Photography final project. The topic of my project is denoising by minimizing total variation based on a paper published by Antonio Chambell. So first we need to give a definition of the discrete gradient operator using his paper. And next we define what is total variation of an image U, which is simply the sum of the norm of its gradient at each point of the image. Next, we'll define the discrete divergence of the image used here. And in his paper, Chabel first defined this problem one, which is the total variation minimization here. Here, the term JU is, is the total variation of the image U. And the second term is a L2 norm, no regularization term that ensures the smoothness of the solution. And the solution is given by here, u star equals g minus pi. Pi here is a projection operator here. So I'm projecting g onto lambda k. And next, we have problem two, which is nonlinear projection problem. And you can notice this relationship between the problem two and problem one, and you can plug it in so you get this equation over here. And next, he proposed problem three, which is the image denoising problem. It is formulated a little bit differently, and here we assume that the image U is corrupted by a Gaussian noise of various sigma squared. But this sigma is known beforehand, which you can obtain from a, a few statistical methods. And intuitively, we will assume that the, a clean, noiseless image will have very little to the variation and such exist, the existence of noise will add a lot of total variation to the image. And here we have algorithm one that he proposed, which is a semi-implicit graded descent algorithm here. And next we have algorithm two and an accelerated version of his algorithm two, where he chose lambda n plus one to a specific value that accelerates its calculation. Using some projection method. Sorry. And here we compare the effects of adjusting lambda in algorithm one, which is the Lagrange multiplier here. As you can see, the larger the lambda, the more blurred the image, the image is. So that you, uh, you have better denoising with a larger lambda. And this is quite intuitive because for larger lambda values, you have less constraint on the regularization term. And next we have the effects of adjusting sigma in the algorithm two. Here, the, the original um, Gaussian noise added to the image is 30. As you can see, for values that are not equal to 30, there are a lot of uh, artifacts visible here. And table three, we compare how much iterations it takes to denoise an image with algorithm one. And table four, we compare the number of iterations needed to denotes the image with algorithm two. As you can see here, algorithm two is much faster. It takes less iteration than algorithm one. And that's my presentation, thank you.